What up? Um, this isn't really a road vlog because I'm obviously not on the road. Um, those are naked pictures of me and my brother's babies behind me, by the way. Uh, so, uh, anyway, the, the Star Wars trailer debuted, the one for The Last Jedi. And, uh, you know, people are losing their minds. People are posting, like, everybody's posting the trailer. Like, you go look at your social media feed, whether it's Twitter or uh, Facebook, and everybody's posting it over and over again. And so I've been thinking about the trailer that I watched for the last 15 to 20 minutes. And my reaction to it pretty immediately was, like, okay, so the poster, I thought it was, it's a good poster. It's really cool. It's, it's the kind of poster that I could see owning, you know. I probably won't buy it because I don't have a lot of room for more posters, but, you know, it's a good poster. And I watched the uh, trailer, and I was like, eh, that's pretty good. Everyone else is just losing their minds. Oh, it's so incredible. It's 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 so well made. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's so, we can't wait for this movie. Um, which is fine. Everyone, you know, that's art. Everyone has their own reactions to art. Um, but over the last 20 minutes, I've been thinking about it. You know, I was thinking about, you know, obviously, Grum Grunning hosts uh, Hunter and I and uh, Brad Jost of the Jurassic Park podcast. Um, we had done this super long breakdown of the of Rogue One, which you should go check out if you haven't. It's uh, it's really well done. Uh, I don't just say that because I was on it, but you know, my my reaction to Rogue One was I was really hyped for that movie. I thought the trailer was amazing, and when I saw the movie, I was like, eh, like it's okay, it's it's good, it's good. It's I, I don't want to just say it's okay. It's a good movie. I have my problems with it, which I outlined, which I want in that podcast I, I won't go through it again but uh when i saw this trailer i was like maybe rogue one kind of burnt me out just because i was so i was so excited for that movie and um and it just didn't do what i thought it would do um sorry for the shaky cam i don't have my my mount but uh it made me realize as as, a, as i've been thinking about it for the last however long I don't think I'm a Star Wars fan. At least, you know, okay. So you're probably thinking, Adam, you're literally wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. I mean, it says Star Wars right there. What do you mean you're not a Star Wars fan? You've been a Star Wars fan your whole life. Yes, that's true. What I mean is, after seeing the prequels when I was in my 20s, which were straight up garbage. Oh, the third one's actually, no, it's not. It's a terrible film. Uh, it's poorly thought out. It's really bad. But you like it, and that's fine, you know? But it's not a good movie. Um, so it was the prequels, and then The Force Awakens came out, and I did like... Sorry, like my arm's getting tired of doing this. Uh, the Force Awakens was good as well. Was it amazing? Did Well, it was better than good. I really liked The Force Awakens. Was it... As good as the original movies. No, by no means. Under no circumstances was it that good. Uh, same thing with Rogue One. It was a good movie. Was it anywhere near as good as the original movies? No, not a single one of them. It's well below all of those movies. Uh, so as I look at it, I think I'm not a fan of the Star Wars franchise. What I think is that I'm a fan of those three movies and Star Wars Rebels. And I'm a big fan of Rebels. Everything else, all this, like, turning it into this massive universe, I thought I'd be a fan of that, you know? I, like, we all wanted it ever since we were little kids watching those movies, but the delivery isn't what, you know, the hype was. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? It doesn't, you know, I don't, I'm not judging... Anything. I'm not even. I'm certainly not judging the the last Star Wars: The Last Jedi just based on a teaser trailer. But I feel like going forward, I'm going to look at these movies as their own thing. Like I may love The Last Jedi. I may think it's okay. I may think it's garbage. I don't know. But I feel like 
I can't really view myself as a Star Wars franchise fan anymore because I'm not, I don't care to see, you know, uh, the Han Solo, young Han Solo film. I don't really care, although, uh, you know, the Lord Miller working on it, so I probably will see it, but, but I just don't care. I, I think it's a, I think it's a bad idea in general, even if it's well executed. I don't care about a Boba Fett solo movie. You know, I, yeah, I, I think I'm a big fan of the, those three movies and Rebels. And I think it's okay to just say, I'm not, I don't want to be, you know, I don't have anything against the people who are huge fans of the Star Wars franchise. But, you know, I think some of us just have to accept reality and say, hey, those were great movies from our childhood. And whatever it was will never be again. Maybe something else will be the next Star Wars, but it won't be. Star Wars won't be the next Star Wars, if that makes any sense. So, all right. I know this one wasn't that entertaining, but uh, thank you for listening and uh, leave your thoughts. Check out Grim Grinning Host. Check out Metal Hand of God. And, um, you know, uh, go, uh, go check out that Rogue One episode because it's really well done. I said that already. All right, I'm out.